Hi, this is the last video in my Power BI basic series. I hope you found my lectures interesting. I will continue soon with more advanced topics. Let's go. When building Power BI reports, you should go through the five development steps – import, transform, model, visualize and analyze data. The goal of this video is to cover the whole process step by step. Open Power BI Desktop. First step is to import tables, items and partners that belong to MS Success file named Master Data. Select Get Data. More. And at last, choose MS Success as a data source. Find the file named Master Data. Select Tables, Items, and Partners. And click on Transform Data to enter the Power Query Editor. Select Items Query and then go to View Ribbon. Check the Column Quality option. You will see that some column contain empty data. Filter the nulls and you will find one row that contains an error and null values. If you investigate data a bit more, you will come to conclusion that error lies within the last row. Remove the last row. Also remove a column named Manufacturing Price. Go to the Partners Query, remove the Importance column. Table should be ready, choose Option Close and Apply. The next step is to import a fact table named Transactions from an Excel file. After importing all tables, create relationships between them. Now we should create a measure. Create measure sales amount as a product of sales price and quantity.
format it as decimal number with two decimal places. Let's create a simple hierarchy named as sales age, which consists of sales program, category and item name. We finished importing, transformation and modeling of data. Now it's time to create some reports. First, let's format the report background. Choose purple color and set transparency to 90%. Next, we should add a title with text sales report. Change font size to 24 and remove background color. At last, I will rename the page to sales report. I will add a table visual containing item name and sales amount. Further, it would be a good thing to add a frame to this visual and apply top 10 filter by sales amount. At last, I will remove totals and sort the data in descending order by sales amount. Now it's a good time to create a slicer based on hierarchy sales age. I'll remove the slicer header, add the frame, light gray as a background color with 50% transparency and change expand collapse icon.
Duplicate table visual and transform it to line chart. Remove the filters. Drag date dimension to y axis. Duplicate the table again, remove filters and transform it to cluster column chart by category. Add data labels. Let's create another report page and call it M Detail. Allow page to be used as a tooltip. Format the page size to 400 by 300 pixels. Set background color to yellow with no transparency. Create pie chart visual using manufacturer and sales amount. Add the border. Set background transparency to 50%. Go back to the sales report and choose column chart visual. Go to formatting menu, general, tooltips and set the page M detailed as a tooltip for this visual. Let's save the report and publish it to my workspace at Power BI service.
we logged into Power BI service. Let's find our report. Let's pin column chart and line chart to a new dashboard named SR. That's all folks. I have shown you the basics and further on my videos will be about practical application of Power BI. Thank you for your time. Goodbye.